Hi guys, um, in today's video I'm going to show you how to make these lovely Christmas candles. I'm going to show you what things you need to do this. So, first off you need a candle. You need tacky glue or you can have PVA glue. Two pound in, rain, in the range. This also costs, oh, it's not on. this also costs one to two quid. I can't remember the exact price, but it's also from the range. It's a pigment egg pad. You need a pigment egg or it won't work. So, you need that one. We also got two stamps. I've got a Merry Christmas one, and we also have a um, sock um, socking. We also have got some tissue paper, which um, th this kind of is a whole bulk of it for one pound, so it's not bad. But that's from the range as well. We also got this heat up gun, and we got pro markers, which are important to use because these are pr proper craft pens. Oh, and one fell out. So let's get started. Okay, so I've picked my Primark colours, I'll quickly show you what I'm going to be using. So I'm going to be using a brown cocoa colour, just in case you want to buy these. Uh, we've got a green forest green. We've got rose pink. We've got the poppy red, so this is red. Then we have got malter berry, this is the kind of purple colour. So what you need to do is you need to turn this around so it's facing backwards. So obviously you know by that when the whiting's bad. <laughs> but um, what we're going to do is we're going to colour it from the back now. So I'm going to be going to do some colouring and I will call back later when I finish colouring. So I finished my colouring. Give it to anyone. But um, of course I'll just show you the finished kind of pieces. So we got socks or the stockings. You can colour this wherever you want to do. And then we have the Merry Christmas one. So what you want to do, you want to cut out, generally cut it out, then you want to do, so when we have the piece you want to do, look a little outline around the, around the thing you're cutting out. So there we go, so we got our two, one, let me just carefully do this up. Don't want to smudge, there we go, so we got both ones there. So we want to get our glue, then you want to do is turn it around again, so the bit you coloured on, you want to put glue around the edge. So there we go, I put glue on both of my things. I'm going to get a candle and we're going to put it around the candle. So, so. Is that right? So there we go, so there's the first candle. Okay, so I've got my heat, put, <laughs> heat gun plugs in. So what you want to do is you want to have it too close to the candle because the candle will burn. But you want to have it close enough so the tissue paper insinuates. So I'm going to try to see if we get this in a really good angle so you can have a look. So I think that's a really good angle. Yeah. I'll do the end bit here. So turn it on. Right, so this is the candle. Um, as I was doing that, I realised that, um, as I said before, um, I went wrong a bit. That um, if you're using a coloured um, candle, the colour won't come out. And I didn't realise that, I didn't know that. So um, I'm sorry about that, guys. So you can't use um, a coloured candle. It still looks fine. I mean, obviously, if you want to use a black and white one or a black one, you can just buy. As you can see here, so obviously the glue's got to melt now. Uh, not the melt, sorry. The glue's got to dry now, but obviously when it's dried, it'll be all finished and done. So um, I want to thank you guys for um, watching this video. Focus. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching, and I hope you will try this at home. And hopefully it'll work out fine for you. And I hope you enjoy doing it as well because it's really fun to do.